Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. AMD has a hit on their hands in the AM4 platform. Motherboards are cheap, CPUs are cheap, DDR4 RAM is cheap, five years of drop-in upgrades exist, and performance from Zen 1 to Zen 3 is dramatic and noticeable, even without benchmarks. Today, I'm gonna to talk about why Zen 3 is the best deal going and why Zen 4 is a tragic, sad disaster, at least for anything less than the $700 Ryzen 9 7950X and super premium builds. Please sit back and relax, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. Today's video is brought to you by Ewin Racing, the best source for gaming chairs and desks for those long gaming sessions. We have a playlist of our Ewin chair and desk videos linked in the video description below. Save 30% off of everything using the discount code TECHDEALS. More details at the end of the video. In 2017, AMD launched Ryzen and the AM4 platform, and as I noted at the time, it was the most important CPU launch in 10 years. It brought about the competition that was so badly needed. See the $300 14-core i5-13600K today for proof of what competition looks like. AMD promised four years of upgrades on AM4, and they almost didn't reach that goal when they waffled on providing Zen 3 support on the 300 series motherboards. However, after some community encouragement, read backlash, they reversed course and issued the BIOS updates required to enable that support. Minor side note, it isn't actually called a BIOS anymore, it's now the UEFI, but I'm old and don't feel like changing, so the BIOS, it will remain to me. UEFI is, however, the correct term. So now, in 2022, you can drop in a $129 Ryzen 5 5600X into a 2017 B350 motherboard, and in Hitman 3, go from 69 frames per second on the Ryzen 5 1600X to 128 frames per second on the Ryzen 5 5600X. That's not double the frame rate, but it's darn close. To put it another way, Hitman 3 is 86% faster on the 5600X versus the 1600X. Guardians of the Galaxy and Spider-Man Remastered are 89% faster on the 5600X versus the 1600X. Not quite double, but again, it's $129. Who throws a shoe? Honestly. For competitive gamers who have 144Hz monitors, this is the easiest upgrade ever. This is Battlefield 2042. On the top of the screen is the Ryzen 5 1600X. On the bottom is the Ryzen 5 5600X. The 1600X averages 72 frames per second with a 1% low of 44, while the 5600X averages 145 frames per second with a 1% low of 81. Please note the 5600X's 1% low beats the 1600X's average. For competitive gamers, that's impressive. Honestly, it's not even close here. The difference is night and day. You don't need benchmarks to tell that much performance difference between these two CPUs. That drop-in upgrade from 2017 to 2022 is part of the wide appeal of AM4, and for most people, is strongly worth considering. No matter how fast the Ryzen 5 7600X is, and it is fast, a Ryzen 5 5600X is less than half the price for the CPU, at least at the time of writing, and it drops into your existing system with a five minute BIOS update. We do have a video on upgrading your BIOS. It will be linked down in the video description below if you've never done it before. However, if you insist on spending $300 for a CPU, how about a Ryzen 9 5900X for the same price as the 7600X? It won't be as fast in single core, of course, but it will win in multi-core and multitasking workloads, and it doesn't require a new motherboard or new RAM. The 5900X isn't dramatically faster in average frame rates versus the 5600X, for example, it is 13% faster in Spider-Man Remastered versus the 5600X. However, it's the 1% low improvements and multitasking performance that really makes it an interesting CPU for several more years of useful life out of your existing PC. Having said all of that, have I talked you out of a 7600X yet? I hope so, because it costs too much. $300 for the CPU, $200 for the RAM, 
$200 for a B650 motherboard, you're at $700 for a new six core platform versus $129 for the 5600X as a drop-in upgrade on AM4. If you absolutely positively insist on something new, then the i5-13600K for $300 makes all the sense in the world versus the 7600X. $120 B660 motherboards exist that take DDR4 RAM, so $300 for the CPU, $120 for the motherboard, and $80 for the RAM puts you at $500 even, or $200 less than the 7600X. If both were six core CPUs, one could make an argument for Zen 4 because of future upgrade options, but they aren't both six core CPUs. The Intel is a 14 core CPU that won't need an early upgrade because of that. So the Zen 4 option is $700 today plus another $300 in two years for a Zen 5 or $1,000 versus 500 total for Raptor Lake, and you could just keep it for three or four years and replace the whole thing at that time. Ewin Racing has a wide selection of chairs to fit all shapes and sizes of gamers, ranging from petite to cuddly, they have something for every type of gamer. Not just sizes, but colors and material options as well, including red, blue, purple, pink, orange, and more, plus cloth and leather choices. We have over half a dozen chair and desk videos in a playlist down in the video description below. We also have a very special offer just for Tech Deals viewers. Save 30% off of everything using discount code tech deals using our link in the video description. We have used eWin gaming chairs for three years in our office, sitting on them for up to eight hour marathon live streams. They are very comfortable and we are happy to work with eWin to bring you this special discount and recommend eWin for all of your gaming chair and desk needs. Thank you all so much for watching to the very end of this video. Two gold stars for all of you still here. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. I will have links down in the video description below. The current deal available on the 5600X and the 5900X are limited time offers. Those prices have fluctuated a lot over the past 30 days. They might be higher, they might even be lower by the time you watch this video. The 10% cashback discount that Amazon is currently offering on both of those CPUs to get them to that price does require that you be a Prime member. And of course, these deals are probably only available in the United States. Prices vary around the world. The price on the K chip is a little higher than $300, but the KF chip, which lacks integrated graphics, but then again, so does the 5600X, the KF chip is right at $300, and the prices I showed you before do take that into account. It is worthy of considering if you don't have an AM4 system. Frankly, I wouldn't bother with AM4 if you can otherwise afford it, if you've got an FX8300 or something older. But man, if you've got a 1600X, even a 1700X or a 2600X, $129 for six Zen 3 cores. This is a deal. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you next time. And can you move the iPad slightly because it's crooked? Just turn it. Yep, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Hello, audio check. That's good. Why? 5600X is awesome and 7600 sucks. So please sit back and relax, grab a Greek. They haven't been BIOSes for a while, but I'm old and crap and don't care. <laughs> Thanks, Jingles. I need the i5 box right there. Down, down, i5, blue, i5, blue. Thank you. Um, and I need the top box up there, the skinny one. Yep. Thank you. I need the Austin Powers clip when he says, who throws the shoe? Honestly. Who throws a shoe? Honestly.